Hey, what's up guys? So you know what's best there. The OnePlus 6T is a follow-up to one of my favorite phones of 2018, the OnePlus 6. And it feels like this phone came out yesterday because it really just launched a few months ago. Um, but OnePlus has a very aggressive update schedule, which personally I do like. So we have the OnePlus 6T, so let's see what this thing is talking about. And so the first thing is that the design hasn't changed too much moving from the 6 to the 6T. I mean, you still have the volume rocker on the left-hand side, power button on the right-hand side, and also still comes with that very convenient volume switch where you can actually switch between ring, vibrate, and silent with that physical controls, which you really don't see on other phones these days. And also too, on the bottom, you will find the USB-C port, but one thing missing on the OnePlus 6C is that headphone jack. And so people are giving OnePlus a little bit of grief because they did make fun of a lot of other phone manufacturers for taking away the headphone jack and look what they just did. But for me personally, I am a wireless guy, so I don't really use wired headphones, so it's not a big deal for me, but it may be for you. And they also throw in a USB-C headphone dongle, so your wired headphones aren't completely left out of the picture but this is just one of those things that you start to notice with the phone that they are making some limitations on it are taking some things out including the ability to have a rated IP68 or 67 water dust resistant rating you don't have that with this phone it should be fine in most situations especially if you get a little bit wet but you don't have that certified rating and then also too you don't have wireless charging even though this phone does have a glass back you are missing those things but depending on what you're looking for in the phone these may or may not be deal breakers but I think for the most part these are some things that I can kind of forgive a little bit just because of the price of the phone. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But there are some other things with this phone that it made improvements on compared to the OnePlus 6. And one of those is the display, which is an all around good display, right? It has really good brightness, also two really good colors. And if you wanna customize the colors, it has a great screen calibration tool in the settings that can really make the screen be exactly how you want it to look. And then also too, they have increased the screen to body ratio. So now it's coming in at 86%. So this means you're gonna get a little bit less bezels all around the phone, especially at the bottom of the phone, at the chin where you're going to find that display is going to be coming down a lot more. So it's just visually more pleasing display to look at. Then also when you look at that notch at the top, they basically rearranged the things going on with the notch from the 6. And now in the 6T, you have all those same components, but they made it now in this little teardrop shape. So it is one of the least distracting notches on the phone right now. But if it still gives you a headache, if you still don't like it, you can go into software and hide the notch completely if you wanted to. Now, let's stay on the display for a little bit because there is something lurking underneath. Get it? Lurking underneath. Anyway, they've moved the fingerprint scanner from the back of the phone. Now that lives underneath the display. So this is the first phone to launch in the U.S. with this technology. So it's something that OnePlus is actually taking a risk on because the fingerprint scanner on the OnePlus 6 is really fast. And I didn't hear a lot of people complaining about it. So to now move that underneath the display, they really had to nail it. And I think they did a really good job. Now, I did a video comparing this fingerprint scanner against the OnePlus and it is a tad bit slower than the OnePlus 6. But after using this phone for a couple weeks and also getting a couple software updates, I feel that this fingerprint scanner is just fine. Like you're really not gonna notice unless you're doing a comparison like I did in the video. And there's really just a couple of things that you have to be aware of with this tech. And one of those is just that you have to pay a little bit more attention to where you're placing your finger because it's a little bit less forgiving than having a fingerprint scanner that's like actually built into the body of the phone and where it has a little ridge where you can kind of know where it is without looking at it. And then two, you have to have the display on already. So you can set this up to be able to have it where it turns on when you're raised to wake the phone or you can just tap on it or just press in on the power button. And so to me, this is just another minor inconvenience. It's not really a problem at all, but it definitely wouldn't hurt for in the future in the next phone. Hopefully they can make it where the display doesn't have to be on. And then the benefit of having the scanner on the front of the phone, which I really do like, it's just the fact that my thumb is in the ready. So once I unlock it with my thumb, my thumb is already ready to start using the operating system where if I do have the fingerprint scanner on the back, I have to have my thumb on the right hand side that kind of secure the phone in my hand, use my index finger to unlock it, and then move my thumb to the screen. It's very little. It's not really a big deal, but it's just something that I noticed that helps. And then OnePlus takes this a step further because if you continue to hold down your finger on the screen after you unlock it, you can actually bring up this quick action menu that will allow you to get into one of your favorite apps very quickly, or it can allow you to quickly do an action like creating an alarm. And all these different actions and apps, you can customize in the settings and choose which ones you actually want to show up in this menu. But this just really highlights the benefit of having that fingerprint scanner on the front of the phone. Now, for some reason, if you're still not sold on the in-screen fingerprint scanner as using it just solely as your way to unlock your phone, uh, you can still use Face Unlock, which is the fastest that I've used on any type of phone because as soon as I open my eyes, this thing is unlocked, ready to go. And so I do have both of these ways to unlock my phone enabled, but I don't even have time to put my finger on the screen because Face Unlock just goes into overdrive and unlocks my phone for me. All right, so overall, I really like the scanner, but it may not be the fastest scanner out there. But one thing that is the fastest, in my opinion, on this phone, that is the operating system, the software. 
software. And so OnePlus has their Oxygen OS running on top of the latest and greatest from Android, and that's Android 9.0. So I think this operating system really does keep to the core of stock Android, but OnePlus is doing things just different enough to kind of make it fresh and make it their own. And it's just fast, man. I mean, it's really nothing else you can say. And it runs Android better than the Pixel 3, and that's Google's own baby. So that says a lot. And this is not the first time OnePlus has done this. I think last year, uh, even with the OnePlus 5, it was actually a really snappy phone and they just continued that uh, with this 6T. And they've also added some really good gesture controls. So you can get rid of the navigation bar at the bottom completely. And now you can do things like just swiping up from the left or the right hand side of the display to go back. Uh, or you can swipe up to be able to access all of your apps in the app drawer. Or you can slide up and hold for a little bit and you'll be able to see all of your open apps. And it has a really quick action where you can just swipe up and just move your finger and rotate a little bit and go into the previous app that you have open. And that's just a very fast way just to navigate this OS. And so all of these extra tweaks and the customizations that allow you to really take control of this operating system makes this my favorite version of Android. And it's just because it doesn't try to do too much, but it does just enough to really kind of give you a different experience. And I'm a big fan of just pure stock Android, so this says a lot. And real quick, let's talk about the battery because it has excellent battery life. And that may be due to the fact that the overall software is very lightweight and doesn't drain the battery too much. And two, they've increased the battery size from the OnePlus 6. So now instead of 3300, you now have 3700 milliamps inside of that battery. So you can easily get all day battery life and some with this phone. All right, now we're left with the cameras. And from a hardware standpoint, these cameras are pretty much the same as the cameras in the OnePlus 6, but OnePlus is focusing on the software this time around. And I found that the cameras now on the 6T are just a little bit more consistent. Like when I take my phone out, I feel very confident in being able to nail that picture or that video more often than not. And so if you do want to compare this to the likes of the Pixel 3 or the iPhone 10s, it's going to fall short, but I think sometimes it actually produces the better image or something that I personally like more than some of those other phones. So the fact that this phone costs as little as it does and can still make some images that can kind of compete with these top dogs, um, I find that OnePlus is definitely doing a good job at improving year after year. And they've also added a new mode called Nightscape, which is aiming to help you with your low light photos. So it's going to help clean up some of that noise and also brighten up your image. And so this feature is hit and miss right now. I think that it does perform well indoors, as you can see in this picture behind the remote control on that black panel on the back. It did a good job of getting rid of a lot of the noise in the image. But outdoors, I think sometimes the pictures can look a little too overly processed. But overall, I think it still is a good tool to have in my toolbox, but it still needs some refinement in order for me to rely on it more. And so generally, the cameras in this phone are just solid all the way around, especially with 4K video, which looks smooth and clear. So I just really like the direction that OnePlus is going with focusing on the software, which I think is gonna be key moving forward. Now, at the end of the day, there's a lot to like about this phone. There are some negatives, like it still just has one speaker at the bottom that's easy to cover but it does get loud but I would like to see stereo speakers and little things like that but for the most part I kind of forgive it because it has a starting price of $550 and for that price you get six gigabytes of RAM and also starts at 128 gigabytes of storage and you can upgrade from there if you want and that's very attractive and we look at a lot of its other competition like the iPhone 10s and even the Google Pixel 3 those phones don't really just match the starting specs and of course they don't match the starting price of the 6T so I find that this is a phone that does a lot of things very well and so if they are able to fix some of these nagging issues and keep the price relatively the same next year they're gonna have a phone that's pretty hard to beat but for right now we have the 6t and if you even want to save more money uh, you can go with their new t-mobile partnership and you can buy the phone in store now for the first time in the u.s and then you can also save 300 dollars if you do trade in one of your older phones so you can really get this phone at even a better deal and so you can buy this phone from t-mobile you can buy it unlocked directly from oneplus on their website and also to do know that this phone does now work with Verizon's LTE network. So yeah, I like the 6T. It's not a huge upgrade over the 6, but I think it does just enough to have everybody who doesn't have a 6 or just looking to save some money but buy a really good, really good capable phone, uh, you can definitely check this one out. So yeah, this is my review of the OnePlus 6T. What do you think about this phone? Leave your comment down below and also be sure to follow me on my social media networks. Those links are down below as well in the description box and also subscribe to me here on YouTube. But like always, I do wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.